many times do we manifest something and are actually able to achieve it? The distance between dreams and reality has left me in awe of the world God living. The varied experiences, multiple experiences, multidimensional life of mine has helped me to acquire an inner and continuous strength like a force to reckon with, like an algorithm that I have cracked to conceive, believe and achieve anything that I want, everything that I want. My life is like a blockbuster, a beautiful mix of paradox of sorts, of happiness and sorrows, personal challenges, fame, peace, tranquility, personal failures that has left me devastated at times. From being a CMO, one of the best uh, corporate leaders in the world, to attend one of the best business schools in the world, to win one of the most coveted crowns of Hotmon Mrs. India Worldwide, to write a book with a noble thought, to spend years in researching on yoga and meditation, to enter one of the toughest industry, Indian film industry, and finding my footing as an actor. All these beautiful experiences and years of self-contemplation has helped me to visualize what I want, when I want, how I want, and how to make it happen. I grew up in Delhi. And um, I belong to this culturally beautiful, culturally integrated, like a national integration kind of a family. Uh, I spent years and years uh, there. My family gave me a lot of knowledge about values and ethics and the kind of character that I should follow. However, it took me 30 years of my life to really understand the truth of my life. The basic purpose of my life, why am I? even living on this planet? Why am I getting up and going through all the chores in the day? What is the basic purpose of even doing what I'm doing? I was this highly successful corporate leader at that time with all kind of materialistic gains around me. You can, uh, you can imagine in all my peripherals, I had all kinds of gains, close relationships, but there was this eerie silence inside me. There was this feeling of being incomplete. I was fearful in trying new things. I had a fear of being judged by others. I was always in a rush. I was always answerable to others and myself too. And that's when my voyage in finding deeper nuances in life started with my research in ancient scriptures, spending hours and hours in the day in something called dhyana, meditation, and years of self-contemplation and embracing myself with the truth of life and finding the truth of life actually got me to the point of epiphany. When I had this epiphany that yes, there is a purpose to my life, which is to be a good human being with each passing day, a better human being with each passing day, a better version of Amisha each passing day, where I can be like an exothermic and endothermic reaction every day who is imparting light and absorbing light from people, who is always a vehicle of positive energy who can live life full of kindness and compassion, who can live life of her own dreams. If there is one advice that I would give to younger Amisha 15 years ago, who was bucket full of dreams at that time too, is to calm down. Calm down, there is no rush, there is no finish line. We all are unique in our own ways. We can live life we can enjoy life, live by the moments, success and failure, the dreams and the goals and what you achieve is in the moments and the moments shall pass. 
Amisha, the younger Amisha, go ahead and enjoy and absorb yourself in those moments so beautifully that when you move to the next moment, you feel grateful to yourself. You feel amazing from inside. These learnings, these beautiful learnings that I was able to derive, I had this idea to turn it into a book. The idea of writing the book was to take these beautiful experiences, years of contemplation that can reach the youth of India. And it isn't that, you know, I did not fail um, uh, during my journey of launching my first book. I would have sent my script to almost 10 publishers and damn, I got rejections. But then there was one publisher who did accept it. And one of the leading publishers in India who believed in the story, who believed in my intentions of bringing the story to the masses. And then what followed was this beautiful journey of even creating a book cover and launching the book and taking it to the latitude and longitudes of the world. And you know, the most profound thing out of that whole experience is that I was wise enough not to be carried away of making it a bestseller. The point was that I was, I was continuously inspired to positively impact just one person. And if that one person is impacted after reading the book, I'm home. You know, when you're shifting from one goal to another, from one dream to another dream, there is something that you can't abide by in your journey. One way is to struggle through it. The other way, is to flow through it. And enjoy the rhythm of life. There, you can clearly visualize what you want and you can beautifully architect that path of what you want. And you do require a certain validation, a truthful validation that what you want to do, are you good at it? And believe you me, if you have that inner voice telling you that yes, you're good, go for it. Then create that beautiful path with a lot of imagination and creativity. And look beyond the apparent challenges there. Because challenges are going to be there. There is going to be people who would come to you and whisper very sweetly, no, you cannot do it. Probably this is not a good idea. Cut the noise, cut the noise. Go for it. Have faith in yourself. I had this dream to study in one of the best business schools in the world. With my three-year-old son, I actually went for it. And no matter what, in my inner and outer spheres of life, every single person told me that this is not a good idea. But I say, no, I'm going to do it. Thank you so much for all the feedback, but I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to take the very accountability and ownership of my son that I'm studying. I take every bit of ownership to take care of everything that is required, beat my job, beat the financial commitments, everything. But I want to do it for myself and for nobody else. That is self-faith. Once you are able to clearly visualize what you want, and if you put in sense faith into it, you would go inch by inch closer to your destiny. And there is no destiny. It just keeps on moving. I uh, was left uh, completely devastated in the year 2019. I lost the person that I loved the most in my life. The person I was the most closest to, my mother. The life shook me upside down. And I do want to quote 
what she used to tell me almost every single day whenever i used to have an heart to heart talk she never failed to reiterate what she used to say and probably during those time that i was completely depressed those beautiful words helped me magically to heal and here i quote her that amisha every morning when you get up every morning when you get up and you look yourself in the mirror the reflection that you see inside out not just from the outside inside out and if you're proud of that person that you see you're probably doing something good in that day i took it to my heart i took it to my soul and every possible cell of my body kidneys lungs all included and there is one more thing that i do swear upon and ensure that i live by it thanks to my father who is 75 but has a 5 year old energy level he is so infectiously in high on energy all the time he is never ever fail to surprise me with the surprises that he brings to life and i'm extremely proud to tell you that no matter what the circumstances are no matter what the situation is if you are able to ignite your positivity if you are able to master your thoughts if your heart is full of kindness and compassion if you are fearless about going ahead and failing if you are fearless of going ahead and failing because failing is a perception it's just a fear of projection an imaginary projection in 2020 i had a chance uh, encounter uh, with a beauty pageant a global beauty pageant and uh, i signed up for it and it is one of the most meaningful experiences of my life but indeed i felt like an alien there is someone who's been who's done corporate leadership has done good in academic has been a reasonably good writer and he or she is in the pageantry world which is full of glamour which is full of showbiz and and i was like really can i do that i started questioning myself and then they came the voice that yes you can do it but you have to unlearn what you have already learned to start your journey from the scratch to walk that ramp to go ahead and learn the nuances of makeup i'm so proud to tell you that i was beautifully inspired with the kind of ladies that i met during my beauty pageant and when i won it there was this feeling that it is not that the end of the journey and i have this beautiful crown on my head how about taking it and inspiring more women out there to go ahead and take their dreams head on my uh, participation in the beauty pageant helped me to enter one of the toughest industry which is indian film industry i got my first break in the film as a lead actor i did a handful of more projects for leading ott platforms a music album and currently i do have a few entertainment assignments and a festival of uh, movie assignments as an actor but that journey again was not easy there was a lot of rejection here i was in this trying to enter this industry from outside at a certain point in my life and people are coming and telling me probably uh, not the right age to enter this industry uh probably you may go and or uh, go ahead and conquer in the character roles and i was like no i think i can at least deserve an audition and i do want to narrate you a story where i uh, went for an audition and i was uh, i was told that uh, i had to deliver a, a dialogue and i did deliver the dialogue and uh, the director told me that uh, hey just throw her out i was flabbergasted i gathered myself i came out 
And I told the coordinator, please, please, please just give me one more chance to go in again. And he did. He allowed me. And to my surprise, when I did another rendition of the same dialogue, the director just looked straight into my eyes and said, yes. And I can go back to that moment all the time for that yes. Not because I got the break. It's because I was proud of the audacity in me to go back again when someone has told me to be just thrown out of the place. Life is limitless. It's absolutely limitless. Your actions are the vehicles to the opportunities. Your willpower, that, that inner force is the catalyst. Your hard work and sincerity and your ability to understand that failure is inevitable. I'm going to say it in Hindi and I'm going to translate it for you. Haan ya jeet, to mehnat kismat ka khel hai, par uske liye khelna zaruri hai. Success and failure is a matter of hard work and some bit of luck, but you have to play first. You have to play the life. No risk, no gain, no sense to me. Live your life full of dreams. Don't be fear of anything if your heart is of gold. If you are able to inspire people and give unconditionally, then why not give yourself unconditionally? And live life to the fullest. Live multiple lives. Who's there to judge? Today you can be doing something great in one sphere of life, do it in another sphere of life simultaneously. Achievements are in our hands. Perception of success and failure is in our mind. Just go ahead and embrace yourself with this limitless life. Thank you.